Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible one-sided news stories in our country. Who dreams that often? I'm like, every other night, he's talking about, you got to dream. That's, I mean, that's something that I was experiencing, like, for a minute. Um, yeah, especially when I stopped smoking. Like, I, I, there was times when I just, I would dream, like, every every night, like, for a couple weeks straight. And I'd be tired in the daytime because it seems like some of those dreams, you know, you ever had a dream where you're just, it's like, you're literally, like, Mission Impossible. Like, Tom Cruise, it's like an adventure. So when you wake up, you're like tired, bro. It's like, did I even sleep? There's so much going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I haven't had a dream in a while. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Uh, I had not too long ago, actually, but I can't really remember. Yeah. You remember what it was about? Um. Oh God! Uh, <clears throat> it was something practical, like like running from zombies, or like run- it was it was something practical like that. Like, like how you said practical, <laughs> it's like running from zombies. That's why you're built different. <laughs> like most I people, mean, it's a fucking yeah. zombies. Damn. Ah, but I can't even really remember. And that's kind of what I was telling her, like. She'll have a dream and she could just, you know, tell it. And like, I'm like, why well, I can't remember? Mm-hmm. I can't really remember mine, but she can remember them clear. That's good. That's like a gift. Yeah. Uh, I mean, because the, the, we can say the subconscious is, is all about uh, trying to help us get through the day because I think it records everything. Mm. And it, you know, it's recording it like everything that even things we're not even paying attention to. So when you go to sleep, your dreams give you a chance to like work through it and see if you can use it to solve problems. Because I know, because humans were always trying to, you know, try to solve problems and stuff. And uh, it uses the subconscious to tell you things about how to fix your problem. That's why the dream seems so weird. And maybe it is hard. That's why it is hard to remember. Because they really don't seem like they make sense, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But all of, but it's using all the subconscious stuff that you recorded all day, you know, mm. to try to try to help us, I guess, like work through things and whatnot. Yeah. <coughs> See, I'm kind of like um, how we was kids. They'd be like, you know, don't watch the movie; it's gonna give you nightmares. And it's like, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, like. You can just manually, like, something can happen and give me nightmares, you know what I mean? Especially these movies, you know what I mean? Yeah, especially nowadays. But you never really hear it in reverse, like, you know, remember your parents saying, oh, well, you're going to have a good dream tonight, like, guarantee this is definitely going to make you have a good dream. <laughs> like, you never yeah, hear the good one. Heard that. All right. But the bad way, you're going to have nightmares. You stand yeah. up reading those books and... You on that computer late? <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Maybe they're right because unless you have some like binary beats on, or like some natural ocean sounds on YouTube, something natural mm. that like lulls you to sleep, you pr- anything else is is too much stimulation before you go to mm. bed. Yeah. Let me get into the melanin melanin tip because we need co- like complete darkness. When we go to sleep, mm. so we can recharge our melanin, right? Mm. When you're sleeping, and, and I would assume that same thing for the images you put in your head and, and listen to. You want it to be like as pure as possible because it's already going to be crazy your dream as it is. Because like we said, it's, you're already pulling from the subconscious, using that as your content. So you don't want to have no weird, too weird uh, stuff going on. Cause it's already gonna be weird, right? Yeah, and then it's like to kind of segue kind of into the 
you know, mysterious side of it, like, yeah. you know, people would be like, oh, grandma came to me in a dream. And it, it you know, some people had those, those experiences and it's not like she looked like the, you know, a hag or like a, a movie monster. Like it was, it was grandma. She was intact. She was right, like, don't right. marry that dude. Go on, like she gave me a structure of a COVID or, or maybe like people in the hospital, you know what I mean? And you're like, oh, like my mother came to me. I ain't seen her in, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In a dream. It's to come in a normal form so you don't scare you too much. You know? Mm. Right, you never hear people like, I'm scared, you know, my grandmother came and it scared me to death. It was kind of like, nah, we yeah. had to talk. Like it was. You know, it was heartfelt. You know what I mean? Right. I I remember my um when my mom passed away because my mom passed away when she was very young and I was still pretty young. I was in, like twenty two and she was forty two, mm -hmm. and uh, and she had cancer and whatnot. And mm -hmm. and when she died a couple of weeks later, I had a dream about her. She came to me, and she didn't look grotesque or anything, but she was definitely like a like e F ethereal, like kind of like ghostly, like kind of transparent in a way. Mm -hmm. it, it went, and I think I was a little scared too. I was scared because I know I'm like, that's not right. Like you just died. Why are you, you know, you're, why are you here? But then that scaredness went away quick and it turned to heart kind of like heartache in a way because I missed her so much, man. And mm -hmm. I knew that like I might not get a chance to see her again. You know, so dreams are trip, man. Yeah, and then you get into like the DMT side of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the, and the, you know, going into that, uh, that trance, you know what I mean? That, that hypnosis, you kind of sleep, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, the dream to bring it full circle about dreaming and how you can't really feel like you remember your dreams too much, but your, your wife remembers the, her dreams. That's like, it's DMT, man. The times I ingested it allegedly, <laughs> you mm -hmm. can't, well, as soon as you do it, bro, and you come back after, I don't know, like a minute or whatever, cause it don't take too long. You get like as high as an LSD trip in a couple seconds, climax of mm -hmm. it. And when you mm -hmm. come down, and then when you come down, you're like back to almost back to normal, but you can't speak correctly. You cannot remember. You can kind of remember in your mind what happened, but your words can't put sen sen sentences together. You know, the, the, the syntax is all fucked up or something, you know? So like you, you want to share, like I've wanted to share what I saw, but my, my I was like, that nah, yeah, what, like trying to speak, like I literally couldn't get the words correct. You know, and mm -hmm. and just like a dream, unless you record yourself when you wake up, right? When you wake up or write down, you know, learn how to write discipline to write down your dream log, you probably ain't gonna gonna remember because the longer the day goes, right? You keep forgetting like a sand throw through an hourglass. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Yeah. But uh let's let's get into it. Uh we're live right now. Um Surfing the Apocalypse podcast, episode three, inside yeah. the odd and psychic, psychic world of indigo children. I got I got the co-host, the legend, Onco 24-7. What's going on, brother? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm happy to be here. Um happy for anybody else that's here. And um Let's unpack it. You know what I mean?